Dear Elf, Thank you for volunteering to participate in Cedarville's annual Santa's Workshop Holiday Spectacular. As always, the festivities will be held at the Colchester Mansion from December 18th through January 2nd. Please report to the mansion this weekend to be fitted for your elf costume. Don't forget to let us know of any special requirements, such as orthotic inserts for your pointed slippers. Yuletide greetings, the Colchester family. Griffin Bing reread the letter his best friend, Ben Slovak, held out to him. Dear Elf, why would the Colchesters make you an elf? Aren't you Jewish? Half, Ben explained. On my dad's side, we celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. The point is, we don't celebrate either one by being an elf. Griffin shrugged. It's obviously some kind of mistake. I mean, how did your name get on the elf list? Just write back and tell them thanks, but no thanks. My mother won't let me, Ben lamented. She grew up here. She's been going to the Holiday Spectacular since she was a little girl, just like you and me and everyone else we know. Bummer, Griffin offered. Tell me about it. Where am I going to fit Ferret Face in that tight little green vest? He's not a pet, you know. He's a medical service animal. Hearing his name, the small weasel-like creature poked his head out from Ben's collar and looked around. Live it up now, Ferret Face, Ben advised darkly. In a couple of weeks, you'll be squeezed flat in an elf suit. The creature withdrew back inside Ben's shirt. I feel sorry for you, Ben. When I'm at Santa's workshop, I always pity those poor elves, dressed up like idiots, with those pointy ears and bells on their shoes. But if your mom's forcing you, there's nothing you can do about it. Ben's eyes had found a stack of mail on the Bing's kitchen counter. Hey, that envelope's just like mine. Isn't that the Colchester family crest? In alarm, Griffin tore open the letter and stared at the contents.